and today I'm going to show you a quick preview of what is inside the UXL Pro or the, f the paid version of it and let's see if this is something worthy for those who are aspiring designers and also already a designer if you want to have an account of your excel you can always start for free and i'll be s giving the link down in the description box if you want to try it go grab it and see for yourself if this is something that would benefit you so let's get started and i would first uh, go ahead and log in to my account so this is the first the home page and what you can see here are the recent courses that i'm taking the skill test that they are offering uh, challenges and then extras other uh, previous that UXL provides so for the course if you go to the explore all this will give you all the courses they offered and they have levels of courses from easy medium and hard so these are the courses they are offering and I think what's interesting about this is that if you're not if you don't have any code experiences so this is i think that this will help us so like me i don't have any core uh, coding background it would help you give a knowledge about it and then coming soon they also have coming soon courses and then if you want to suggest or request a course you may want you can have it so let me give you a glimpse of what is it looks like inside a course so for example this designing wireframes and they have levels of the courses and of course the levels will depend on the topic so there are courses that exit exceeds level four or five and you have to finish all this before you get your certification and then from here you can uh, go and start the lesson outright or you can read first the theory yes and as you can see here they have the theories and you probably notice that they provide a visual a graphics of the less the topic and then they'll discuss it briefly i think which is is one of the pros and cons of the lessons because as you can see it's brief and if you want to really dig deeper to the topic i think you should read further and research about it but below just really below it you're gonna see a references so you can read through the big picture of what is being discussed here and then once you're done you can now you may want to start answering the questions and the question is time or there is a timer a 20 thir 30 seconds time so you have to answer this one yeah let's let's the try and, and answer this one select a better reference for getting user feedback this one 
again. And then they would discuss to you why this is the right answer and then of course you can have you may want to compare the answers and then again there there is a reference for for that particular lesson part of the lesson and then going back to the courses as you can see you're gonna see the your courses in progress and then completed and then for the completed one yes you can have your certificate and then you can also post it to your social media accounts I'm just wondering if this term should be completed or complete <laughs> but yeah <laughs> And then we also have arcades. So let's see what does this look like. Th this is an arcade. Select the matching color. What do you mean by matching color? <laughs> this one. <laughs> yeah. Co select. For for their arcade, there's no explanation of it because it's really just an exercise for your eyes select the matching colors milk select the matching color yellow light blue color Ooh, yet you have a color seam here select the matching color Prosecco and so Error spotting. This is a sample of this, which is more correct. So let's see, which is more correct? Hi, what about the lesson? <laughs> I didn't know what's, what's the difference. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get it. Huh? Huh? I can find the difference. I can find it. <laughs> Oops. Border ridges. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's how they do it. If you want to continue. Error spotting and eye alignment. And then if you have save save uh, lessons it will go here and then the con the little board yeah and so you can also check with your <laughs> ranking by country or by worldwide yeah where I am at I'm at I don't know where I'm at <laughs> 425 <laughs> worldwide and and yeah, that's it for. I won't go through the this one because this is uh, I think too personal for me. And for the pricing, if you're wondering, so the free version is of course free, and then the pro version is four dollars per month, paid yearly, and then you also have the pro themes. And also, these are the inclusion of it, of of the versions and the features that you would get from having a paid versus free version. And I think overall, for me, I would really recommend you excel for the beginner's level and intermediate if you're an aspiring designer and you don't know what where to start. I think this is a good start for you guys. And I hope I gave you a a good uh sneak peek of what you would you expect or what 
you are going to expect inside your Excel and I hope this video gives you a little little clarity if you want to go to go uh, paid a version or you're gonna just have a free one and I think that's it if you have any comments or suggestions and let me know your experience using UXL by commenting down below the comment section and also don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos see you on the next video thank you